Changes could be coming on how unexcused absences are handled at your child's school. Some lawmakers want to increase the penalties for truancy, but not everyone is on board with this plan, instead wanting to address the root cause of those absences. News 4 San Antonio's Jordan Elder has more. I remember that I couldn't believe that I was arrested for missing school. For Joe Contu, truancy and trauma go hand in hand. He says he was taken into custody during a passing period after missing school because of a medical condition. So that way it would force my family to show up to court um, for, for the truancy and the truancy charges. In 2015, Texas's truancy system got a complete overhaul, the process becoming less about arrests and more about resources. But Representative Gary Van Dever told the House committee it also took away the law's authority. The schools cannot teach students who are not in attendance, and yet schools are held accountable uh, for the performance of students who might miss hundreds of hours of instruction. His new bill would increase truancy penalties from $100 to $500 to between $400 and $800. These penalties can be waived if the parent attends parental class, or the child obtains a high school diploma or a GED, or if the child enlists in the U.S. military. The Senate's recent school safety bill also changes how many unexcused absences your child can have before they're subject to prosecution and sent to court. Several groups are calling on lawmakers to instead address the root causes of chronic absenteeism and then provide resources. Sharon Watkins-Jones with the group Children at Risk agrees. And we'd really like to focus on prevention rather than punishment. Measures that criminalize kids further take them away from the opportunity to receive an education. If you take even more away from them and then traumatize them on top of that, how can that kid feel safe in that classroom? Jordan Elder, News 4 San Antonio.